After spending a while in Utah, it was time to head north to Idaho. Welcome to the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho. I am so super excited to be here. It's been far too long. It's been since 2019 since I've been in this area. I wasn't able to make it back the past couple of years due to wildfires and smoke, but I'm here now and it is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I had not planned on starting this video until tomorrow. However, the sunset is shaping up to be beautiful and I had to show it to you. It's fitting that this piece of music is called Tranquil Views. That's exactly what these views were. I've just been walking around with my jaw on the ground this morning because it is jaw-droppingly beautiful here. It's like, pinch me. I can't believe this is my home for the duration. <laughs> I uh, don't really have a plan for what I'm doing here in Idaho, but enjoying this beauty, probably doing some hiking. There's so much to do and explore here. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of that. I did come here for another reason. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna share that in this video or not, but stay tuned. I spotted some of my neighbors grazing on the next ridge over. I see a lot of wildlife in my travels and I get excited every single time. Before we get the day rolling, I want to quickly mention the sponsor of today's video, AG1 by Athletic Greens. I need to confess that I have not been eating very healthy lately. I've been eating a lot of things that probably aren't good for me, like pizza, pie, ice cream. There is one thing that I have been doing right for my health every morning, and that is starting the day out by taking AG1 by Athletic Greens. I would not talk about this product if I did not believe in it. I've been taking it now for six months. It's done wonders for my health, immune system. I have not been sick, knock on wood, in a very long time. I attribute a lot of that to Athletic Greens. AG1 is better nutrition made a lot simpler with 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one convenient daily serving. This special blend of ingredients helps your body's nutritional needs and supports gut health, immunity, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. It's also incredibly convenient with just one scoop or a travel packet and eight ounces of water a day. That's it. Go to the link in the description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Once again, I'd like to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. This is what's for breakfast this morning. Gotta start trying to eat a little healthier.
I wasted no time finding a beautiful hike to get out on. I'm currently on the Fish Hook Creek Trail and barely getting started and it's already just gorgeous. I'm excited to do this hike. What a beautiful hike this has been. It's a little on the warm side. It's supposed to be in the upper 80s today, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It is to me, or it has to me, a very Tetons kind of a feel, this mountain range, uh, without a lot of the wildlife that the Tetons have, but the beauty is very similar, how the mountain range just juts out kind of out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, it's spectacular. The water is so crystal clear and beautiful. Hi, bud. What you doing, bud? After the hike, I decided to run into Stanley for some lunch at the Stanley Bakery. Fur trappers of the Hudson Bay Company discovered the Stanley Basin in the 1820s. Stanley is surrounded by the Sawtooth, Lost River, and White Cloud mountain ranges. It has become a base camp for some of the best hiking, backpacking, and rock climbing in the country. I had heard a lot of amazing things about the Stanley Bakery, and having already had breakfast, I set my sights on lunch, a turkey sandwich, the Turkey Gobbler. It is perhaps the most well-known business in town, drawing throngs of hikers, river rafters, and tourists. Cheers. Arnold Palmer. 
That is dirt on my ankles. Pretty gross. My sandwich was flavor packed and definitely did not disappoint. After a quick visit back to camp to clean up a bit, I decided to explore some more, heading over to Stanley Lake. Next was a drive along the Salmon River Scenic Byway. It follows central Idaho's largest river north from its headwaters in the Sawtooth Range through the desert canyons to the tiny town of North Fork. Behind me is the Salmon River. I've been driving along the Salmon River Scenic Byway, and prior to that, I was at Stanley Lake. As you can see, it's a phenomenally gorgeous day. <laughs> What a fantastic day I've had. I've seen so much beauty. I haven't explored a lot of Idaho, but I might have to say this has got to be one of the most beautiful places in Idaho. I don't know how it could get any more beautiful. <laughs> I'm so very fortunate to be here and I could probably stay at my camp all day and be perfectly content because it's gorgeous. Obviously, I'm back here at camp getting ready to fix up some dinner. I'm going to be making tacos tonight. If you've been around for a while, you know that tacos are one of my staples. I could probably eat them every night. <laughs> Something very cool is happening this evening. There is going to be a supermoon. It's called the Buck Supermoon. And apparently the reason that it's called the Buck Supermoon is because during this time of year, July, it's July 2022, the Buck's antlers are at full growth. So pretty cool. Pretty cool fact, fun fact. Anyhow, I'm going to try to capture that tonight. And fingers crossed, I get some amazing shots. But first, let's have dinner and make sure to stick around afterwards to see if I, I get any cool shots of the moon. Tacos are very simple in my house, although I do fry my own corn tortillas and I do use turkey meat. I just find I like that better and I fry my corn tortillas in olive oil. Okay, taco meat is pretty much ready. I'm going to just keep it warm and then fry up my corn tortillas. It's fiesta time. They look beautiful. Get in my belly. The sun doesn't set until after 9.30 in these parts, and the moon wasn't going to rise until after 11, so I had a bit of a wait, but it was going to be well worth it.
Good morning. How beautiful was that super moon, the Buck super moon? I'm so excited that I got to see it from here. What an amazing treat. It's nice and cool this morning. I woke up to some thunderstorms. I love the sound of thunder and rain. It was really relaxing to wake up to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. The reason that I didn't show you the track is because I have done a modification to it and that's one of the reasons that I came here to Utah. Uh, I'm gonna share more about that next week, so stay tuned and uh, tune in next week and I will show you what I have done. I wanna thank you for joining me on this adventure. I absolutely love being back here in Idaho. I'm so excited to be here. What a beautiful time I've had so far. <laughs> excited to explore a little bit more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It is totally free and helps the channel a lot. And make sure that you tune in next week so that I can show you what I've done to the truck and for more adventures in Idaho. Thanks so much for joining me and thanks so much for your support. Love you all and see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. <laughs>